Andre Rublev versus Kasper Rudd is the second semi-final at the Monte Carlo Masters for 2021. And both guys have been very impressive this week on the clay. The unseeded Rudd started his campaign off against the wildcard Rune in the first round and won in straight sets, 6-2, 6-1. His second round was against seventh seed Diego Schwartzman. And again, Rudd put in an impressive performance, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. His third round would be his toughest match to date against the 12th seed Corino Busta. And after winning the first set, this match went the distance with Rudd eventually getting through 7-6, 5-7, 7-5. In his quarterfinal, he had to take on defending Monte Carlo champion and 15th seed Fabio Fanini. And after a close first set going back and forth, Rud eventually prevailed in straight sets, 6-4, 6-3. Andre Rublev entered the tournament as the sixth seed, getting a bye in the first round. His second round match would be against qualifier Caruso, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. His third round against ninth seed Batista Agu, and he had to fight his way to get through that third round, eventually prevailing in three, 7-6, 5-7, 6-3. His quarterfinal matchup was against number three seed and the god of clay, Rafa Nadal. And although Rafa had been very impressive leading into the quarterfinals, he was not himself making a lot of errors and Rublev capitalized, getting the job done in three sets, 6-2, 4-6, 6-2. These two have played three times before with Rublev getting three out of three wins. And he leads their head-to-head on clay 2-0 with both of those happening in Hamburg over the last couple of years. However, Rud has put in a very impressive performance this week, beating the likes of Schwartzman and Fanini, who are great clay court players. And how will Rublev be feeling after the biggest win of his career against Rafa Nadal? If Rud's going to make his first Masters 1000 final, he's going to have to take his chances against Rublev. Rublev's going to give him some break point opportunities, but Rud has to take them. If Rublev's going to win this match, he has to stay patient, like he did against Rafa, and mentally keep his head in the game and pretend like he's the underdog. This is a tough one for me because Rublev is the favorite in this match, and he should win, but that doesn't always mean that the favorite does win, especially this tournament. We've had a lot of favorites lose, but I'm going to stick with Rublev. I'm going to say he's going to win this one in three. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final.